Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Tam and I'm getting ready to show you guys a haul that I did at Tuesday morning a couple of weeks ago. Um, another YouTuber was talking about a haul that she went, she did from Tuesday morning. She went to Tuesday morning and picked up some things. I personally had never been to Tuesday morning for crafting supplies. So there was one that I'd seen for like years. I just never went in there. So I decided to go over there to look around, see what was in there. And it was okay. I don't think I found anything like any extraordinary deals that would say, okay, this is where I'm going to now shop for all of my crafting supplies. I wasn't able to use any coupons or things like that. I understand that they have days where they have deals where you get a certain percentage off of, of stuff that's already on clearance and things like that. But like when you go to Hobby Lobby and Michaels, you can use their online coupons and get a percentage off of the things that you're buying. And Michaels just recently emailed me where I could get like an extra percentage off of their clearance items as well. So um, I picked up a few things in there because I was there. I didn't want to make, you know, a blank trip. And because I did see some things that I could use, I went ahead and got them. I'll start by showing you the napkins. They had some designer napkins in there. And they were $1.99 regular price. This was, I believe, on sale for like a dollar, dollar and twenty-five, something like that. It has the little teacups on it. So I got those. Another little set in there that I liked was this, was this little pink floral set. And it was around the same price, a dollar twenty thirty cents, something like that. And this big uh pack of napkins with the little grapevines on it, it was also on sale for you know maybe a dollar, dollar and fifty cents, something like that. So for those who don't know, you can go by Dollar Tree and get different designs as well as different size napkins for $1. But I just got these because these are some patterns that I had not seen at Dollar Tree. So I just picked them up. Um, this uh, tag set was $2.99. I got that. There are 50 tags in this pack and it's by 7 Gypsies. And so um, it just has a variety of different tags in it, different sizes, different patterns, just to kind of give you a look at what they look like here. So, you know, that's cute. That's one with the writing lines on it. There's a polka dot one, an all black one. There's one with a little girl on it. And this one was upside down when I opened the pack. And saw that it was, I was like, was that on purpose or that was that, you know, like a printing error? But they're all different sizes and a variety of different designs. And so this was not on sale. It was $2.99. So they had this little sticker set by KC and Company. It has like little shakers inside of it. And it was on sale or just regular price. I don't think it was on sale. It was 99 cents. And it has like some little birds inside like little pop-ups. And inside the pop-up is some, what do you call it? Um, I can't even think of the name of it, but you shake it around in there. Um, this was a Project Life card set. Of course, I won't be, I don't do Project Life. I don't do like, um, what do you call it? Memory keeping, memory planning, or anything, what it, you know, anything like that. So I'll be using these for like journaling cards and things like that. There are four, four by six cards, 32. So there, there are four 4x6 four title cards, four 4x6 four journaling cards, 32 3x4 journaling cards, and 16 different designs printed twice. So I'll just let you get just a peek at what it looks like here. So it's tennis themed. So, you know, tennis. So, I mean, I, I could still use these, you know, even though I don't play tennis, don't really know anybody that 
does play tennis but this was on sale as well and I believe it was a dollar and thirty cents something like that now this sampler pack whenever I see these on sale especially at like Michaels and Hobby Lobby mostly I get these it was on sale at Tuesday morning for about three dollars and fifty cents not a lot off of the original price which was four dollars but it's a sampler pack it has like um, paper it has fabric it has journaling cards and things like that well you can basically use this entire pack to create a journal entry or even like a small little flip journal that you can stick in your your purse or whatever like a little bitty small journal not a big one but you know I always get these when I see them on sale because it's kinda like a little kit it has everything that you need in it to do some journaling without having to carry embellishments, lace, cards, fabric, and all that stuff. Now these are some paper pads I picked up. I picked up this cardstock value pack. It was $4.99 and it has a variety of different colors in it. I have a lot of colored paper already but not cardstock paper. So I wanted to get a variety pack of colored cardstock paper for my journaling because the paper is thicker it's better to use for journaling cards and things like that without having to back it with an extra piece of paper. So I got these multicolored all different colors. Um, they also had this paper pack that I liked. It's by Echo Park and the theme for this one is for the record and it was $5.99. I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to get this because $6 is kind of expensive for a paper kit. But I didn't know if I was going to be able to find something like this at Hobby Lobby's or Michael's. So I just went ahead and got it. But I put it in a basket, took it out, put it in the basket, took it back out. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go ahead and get it. But I love this design. I love the patterns, the florals the tabs all of this I, I love the entire paper kit and so I would definitely be using this to make a journal now usually I get my paper kits from Hobby Lobby they have them on sale most of the time especially if it's like a, a color that they consider to be out of season you can get one of these paper pads and I think Hobby Lobby regular price for their paper kits are like nine dollars but I've gotten them on sale in there for like two dollars so five ninety nine was a little bit of expensive on a little bit of, on the little bit expensive side for me but I got it anyway just because I'm in love with this design I love it this is another paper kit that they had in there. It was $2.49 regular price and you can see all the different designs that come in this one. So anytime I see these little kits, it kind of gives you a running starting point for creating a journal without having to go through a variety of different uh, paper pads. So I try to pick these up whenever I see them. And so I saw those two as well as this one. This one has ledger paper and as well as some, it doesn't have a sample on the front of it. So I'll just kind of open it to let you see what's on the inside. But she want, I found this in their clearance department and she wanted to tell me that it was not on, on clearance. It was not on sale. It shouldn't have been in the clearance department. I believe it should have. She said papers this size, and I believe this is 12 by 12, aren't usually on sale. But they had other 12 by 12 paper pads back there on their clearance section. I didn't want to argue with her. She still gave it to me for the $3 price. And so I was like, okay, fine, whatever, if you say so. But this is a look at the designs that are in here. So it's like black and white with pink and teal. So it's like a little kit. You can use it for, you know, whatever, as always, with journaling. There's no one thing you can use it for. You can use these paper pads, kits, products, whatever you find in the store. You can use them for whatever you want. And the last paper pad set I got was this one. And it is by Recollections and it's a English tea party themed. It was on sale for $4.99. Now this whole 
pad of 12 by 12 48 sheets was only $4.99 so now you see what I'm saying for this one for $5.99 that I got and it's nowhere close to 50 sheets in here there are only I believe it said 12 yeah there are only 12 sheets in this kit and so I got 50 sheets of paper, well almost 50, 48 sheets of paper in this Recollections paper pad for $5. So you see what I'm saying? That's why I thought that one was a little bit on the expensive side, but again, I love the design. So this Recollections uh, pad is tea themed, and so I just fell totally head over heels in love with it. It has gold foiling on these little cut aparts so butterflies with gold foiling I mean it is awesome I love this pad I debated about this one as well because I went in there with the intention of not spending a whole lot of money because the haul that I saw um, one of the youtubers doing from Tuesday morning she got like a lot of stuff that was on sale for two three dollars she, she bought like a lot of stuff for little very little and so I was expecting the same thing. But when I went into my Tuesday morning, I didn't see anything, you know, extreme in terms of a sale. So <clears throat> they had some stamp, uh, rubber stamps in there. This one was on sale for about $3.50. It has like, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a lady on it. She's kind of like a vintage, maybe lounge singer or something like that see if I can give you a look at it she has like a little after five dress on with a a fan and a man kind of kissing her hand there so it was on sale for three dollars and fifty cents and this one was regular price three ninety nine it's a carte postal so it's a postal stamp rubber stamp and it was three ninety nine and this one is a bird with in a nest with some limbs and leaves hanging from it. It's called Nesting Bird and it was $3.99. And I picked up these Tim Holtz typed tokens. I didn't realize they were Halloween themed. So I'll be taking these back to the store and see if I can swap them out for the regular typed tokens. I didn't mean to pick up these Halloween ones. Um, I don't celebrate Halloween so I'll be taking those back to the store. I have my receipt, so I'll try to do that in the next few days. And last but not least, they had these Tim Holtz uh, Stampers Anonymous stamps. I haven't seen these anywhere at Hobby Lobby's or Michael's. So when I saw these, I've been looking for them, and I was going to order some online from Amazon. So when I saw these in there, I got them. They were $4.99, basically $5.00. And so I got these. I'm trying to build up my rubber stamp uh, collection just a little bit. I have a lot of clear stamps and a lot of them I can use for my crafting and journaling. I use a lot of them in the past for my Bible journaling. But now that I started this crafting channel, I can use them on this channel as well. But I don't have a lot of vintage themed um, out of the ordinary type stamp so I'm looking for something a little bit more unique than what I already had so these are the travel themed and it has a camera a navig um, a compass with an airplane stamp and a globe and this one is called the industrial uh, set has a light bulb with a lock a key and kind of like a little mechanic gear set at the bottom there and this one is called a uh, vintage just vintage so it has a clock a telephone a typewriter and a fan so that's all I got from Tuesday morning again I didn't really go in there looking for anything in particular just looking for a good deal based on a video that I watched another youtuber upload thinking I was going to be able to find something similar to the deals but I have learned, and I don't know why I expected anything different when I went into Tuesday morning, that the deals are designed for the area in which the store is located. So just because you have a deal at your Hobby Lobby or Michael's or 
Tuesday morning or Joanne or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be able to find the same deals that you found at yours. So they have deals and sales and bargains and things like that, but it's not always going on at the same time that you may be having yours at your store. So just wanted to share real quick what I found at Tuesday morning and um, let you guys know that this is pretty much what I found but wasn't really looking for it and you may or may not be able to find anything similar in your store in case you were looking for something like this. So as always, I appreciate you guys for supporting my channel. If you um, are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you also know when I upload new videos. Share my channel with others. Maybe somebody else wants to come aboard. It is a, a brand new channel. I'm still looking to get my subscribers up, so please feel free to share. I also have a Bible journaling channel, so below in the description box, you will see a link for that channel as well. So if you're into Bible journaling and you want to hear about my faith and things like that, go ahead and hit that link and subscribe to that channel if you would like to do so as well. So thank you guys. I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.